Hey, Singers from the Hidden Levels here with uh, the continuation of the Enigmatis Ghosts of Maple Creek 100% uh, walkthrough. I just forgot the name of the game. Uh, just as a reminder for those that's joining in this part, I'm playing the game on uh, normal difficulty. If you'd like to complete the game on just the first playthrough, uh, you must be playing on the expert difficulty. The difference between the normal and expert difficulty as far as this hidden object scene goes is that uh, if you make too many mistakes the game will become fuzzy and you won't be able to make a click for a few seconds uh, still it does not penalize you in any other way so feel free to con just click everywhere you want if you can't find uh, what you're looking for but it's not like too difficult to do um, so I just found everything uh, it's just we at the end of ep uh, chapter 2 we just opened up the church door and we just did one uh, hidden object scene right away and we're actually entering the church now so there's a bunch of people in here and this guy with creepy eyes looks back at you or we make a note of this townsfolk and we just enter the evidence screen and uh, put those two together and we progress through the next part of the mystery so we're trying to solve a mystery you're uh, like uh, playing a detective here and, um, the main goal is to finish this whole story so uh, click that to get that item now back out go towards that uh, on the right side to the cemetery get that evidence now pick up a couple of candles we're gonna be using this later actually need one more let's go back a little bit back to here go back to the uh, into the house the boarding house upstairs into your room and we're going down to the backyard here we're gonna have another uh, hidden object scene um, hidden object scenes the scenes themselves aren't random but what you have to find are random so uh, you may get a completely different set of items to find uh, from the one shown there you you may have a couple of the same ones so uh, you might be able to get some help by looking at my videos i'm sorry i can't make a like a comprehensive list of uh, things to find in this because they do change things around a little bit anyway it shouldn't be too hard uh, there's no time limit except for when you're going f for the achievement uh, one for completing a hidden object scene in under 60 seconds and also there's no real penalty for uh, making mistakes unless you're going for the achievement for making less than four mistakes so get that item on the right side of the balcony area of the deck area and we'll go back and down to the basement another hidden object scene there there was a guy there that was like a dying that a dead guy i believe and he's not missing we don't know who moved him or anything like that uh, a lot of this game is all about the hidden object scene puzzles and the mini games and it's real i really like these games uh, hidden objects uh, puzzle games are really fun and, um, this company has made a couple other games for the Xbox One, uh, Nightmare from the Deep and um, Clockwork Tale. Uh, Nightmare from the Deep on the on uh, other platforms, there's episode two and three available. I'm hoping they bring that uh, the sequels over as well. Uh, I really enjoyed the first game, so if they bring the sequels so sequels over, that'd be really awesome. And I think, I believe this game as well has a sequel already out on uh, other platforms, so they bring that out as well. It's, yeah, it shouldn't be hard. I mean, they already got the engine, uh, and you just need to kind of um, 
take that data and put it into the Xbox One format. So yeah, and I just uh, solved a very not even a mini game, but anyway, I used an item to get uh, some some other item. Go back up to your room, down to the backyard. And we'll go there. We now have the key for this. We'll use the key and open it. Now we get access to the, the farmlands area. So this is, I believe, called the loan house. Uh, the, uh, the shed in the back on the right is a hidden object scene. Um, also, I didn't forgot to mention the expert difficulty. The difference is that uh, in this video you see some items like glowing that tells you where to click. Uh, in expert mode, uh, none of that happens. But if you're, you're following a walkthrough, so you know where to click, what to do. So not having that guide is not a big deal at all. Doesn't really matter if you have that guide or not. Sometimes I do struggle even though I'm just clicking kind of everywhere trying to look for these things and um, There is an achievement for not using hints in the entire game of a hidden object scene So if you're going for that make sure you don't hit the hints But if, if, if you do accidentally hit hints it is actually cumulative you can do it on uh, the same object scene so hidden object scene so Technically, you can start a new game and just uh, finish the first hidden object scene without using hints. And just keep doing that over and over until you get the achievement. But mm, it's easier just to play through the game without using hints. But if you're like totally stuck and you just can't find that one item, that's, uh, that's just, uh, I'm just giving you a second option. There's a screwdriver in that. One of the nice things they did to tweak the game is the occasionally on the on PC in previous versions, you had to actually uh, use the screwdriver like three times or use the shovel three times or whatever. But now they don't ask for that. You can just use it once and it'll work. This is a slight puzzle, but you get more than more than enough uh, empty slots so it's pretty easy uh, just, and I believe the po uh, the pictures never change so if you kind of follow what I do I do make a lot of mistakes so if you if you follow exactly what I do then uh, it'll take you a long time but you will actually get uh, get the puzzle done I believe if I remember correctly I, t I think I take like Three, four minutes on this puzzle alone. Um, the all you have to do is basically use the uh, the edges and uh, just start from the top and kind of make your uh, your uh, picture look right. Uh, and just move down. It's pretty easy if you, if you do it that way. So I, I got the left frame right there. I'm trying to get whatever is on top. Yeah, that one. And I uh, need also the top right. Oh, I, did I get the top right one right? Yeah. There you go. It's not, it's not that difficult. This is where I got where I was confused. I moved one item, one thing left, and it reveals something in the back. And I thought I couldn't move a panel on that. That's where most of my uh, time. The finished puzzle does not have a tile on that uh, piece there. But uh, while you're matching, you're free to put. Uh, on top of that you're, you're not restricted in any way for that 
but uh, at the end of the day there is no uh, piece that goes there so we can use it as a spare slot but uh, the finished puzzle will have that part open same with this so I got to this and I thought what the hell how I can't move anything this is broken this is bugged and uh, so so this is where I decided to switch to the other puzzle and the other puzzle is doing the same thing so I'm like oh this what the hell is this and that's why I wasted so much time It's been a while since I actually played. I was a little bit busy since I played the game and uh, doing this recording. I actually stopped to play and looked up a uh, video play of uh, from the PC version and I realized what I was doing wrong. There we go. Yeah, you can start from the bottom if you like. Um, doesn't matter where you start but uh, top to bottom bottom to top I don't recommend you just going haphazardly and uh, matching anywhere randomly that's too difficult Not really much to talk about here. Um, it's just a slight puzzle. Probably play these as your kit, uh, like three by three or five by five or whatever. Very small slight puzzle. That except most slight puzzles only have one open slot, where this has two, making it a lot simpler compared to the other that uh, puzzle that you may have played as a kid. I should get it pretty soon, uh, probably within the next minute or so. If you just need the reference uh, picture, the finished picture, just skip about a minute and a half or two, and you can see the final picture. I think there was a, at least one puzzle that stopped me a little bit in each chapter uh, and this was it for uh, for me for this chapter uh, the rest of the chapter should be going a lot more smoother as far as I remember it I believe we're almost done just a couple of pieces in the wrong wrong order there. Almost done, just bear with me. There we go, 
that's the left side done that's your reference picture now the right side right side is uh, you got that uh, big stick sticking out on the left making uh, making that part uh, very easy to match uh, the top is a uh, is a sky scene so it's it's a little bit harder to distinguish where what goes where but it's still not like very difficult to do because you got the border stuff as well I think I'm almost done here with this. Yeah, I have the corner piece like stuck at the bottom there for some reason, so I need to bring that up. Same with that piece, uh, it goes on the right side, but it was on the left. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's like that piece I got into the right area there. Uh, that's all the what what uh, what needs to happen now is that if you see the numbers one two three four so one shows the going upwards two shows going downwards three shows left four shows right uh, so we're gonna be moving the switch that corresponds to that the switch that's uh, at the bottom right now we'll push that so that it goes up and we'll push the stuff in that order and we are nearing the end of chapter 3 here, opening this. Uh, I think pretty much ends the chapter 3. I may have one more thing to do or something like that, but we're very close to the end here. Yeah, just uh, a couple of evidence and a couple of items to pick up. So... Yeah, just do these uh, last few steps to end chapter 3. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this walkthrough has been helpful for you. Uh, my name is Sangrius from The Hidden Levels. And I'll be back uh, with the next part of this walkthrough achievement guide.